So what is going on YouTube, my name is Smehul and welcome to this video which is strictly speaking not really all about Ionic but in general how you can verify Apple sign in with Apple login using Node on the back end. So you see that if you're following this tutorial you're gonna have a response something like this from Apple. So you have your family name, identity token, authorization code, given name, email and user. Now remember uh, you're going to get all this information only on the first login. On the subsequent logins, Apple will not send you given name, email, and the, and the family name. But Apple will continue keep sending you the identity token and the <clears throat> user and the authorization code. So what you have to do in order to verify the Apple's login, in order to <clears throat> make sure that the user is not faking it, is to verify this identity token sent by Apple or sent by the user. <clears throat> so if you carefully look, you're going to see that this identity token is nothing but a JWT token. A JWT token is a JSON web token, which is basically a way of, um, you know, just passing on information openly, but making sure that it is not tampered with in a simple words. So <clears throat> if you paste it here, you're going to see that Apple or basically the user pretty much tells you this much information, right? So you can have this much information from Apple and you can pretty much be very sure that if this sub right here matches with the sub of the user, which is being passed, that is this particular thing. <clears throat> you can see that both of these are same. So if these two things <clears throat> actually match, then um, this was a valid authentication request. Plus, you also want this AUD to match your application name because you want to make sure that the authentication was valid against your own application and not some other application. So this AUD would make sure that um, the user authenticated for your application and the sub would make sure that the correct user authenticated for your application. All right, enough of talking. How do we get started? Well, you see that first thing is we need in node is to decode this JWT. So let's just go ahead and install the package for that. And that would be JSON web token. It's a very useful package comes with tons of utilities and yeah, it's super great. So let's just import it using the JSON web token. And at the login part, when we are receiving this response, what I'm going to say is I'm going to extract out the uh, provider and the response from my request.body, right? And I'm going to say if provider is Apple, in that case, what I want to do is validate Apple, Apple sign in, right? And the first step for that should be actually extracting the identity token and the user right here which was given to us right and I'm going to say that is from response dot response now I have to do response dot response because you see we have a nested this thing but you know you can just fix it however your API is calling and what I want to do is I want to say that my JWT or maybe like JSON something like that whatever you want to name is JWT dot decode and I want to say um, the token, the token is our identity token right here, right? Now our task is not really completed at the moment. We just don't want the decoded version of the JSON because when you do something like this, what would happen is this JSON variable would contain this particular value, right? But for the Apple verification in later steps, we also need this header right here. Right, so we need a complete decode of this JSON and the header is contained, header goes inside this part. So we want the KID to be very specific for the Apple authentication. So we're gonna do a complete decode. And how do we do a complete decode? Is by saying complete true right here. Right, so now we should have um, package, uh, the payload, number one. We also, sh we also should have the header with us, right? So, Let's just go ahead and extract this KID value right here, this KID value. And I'm going to say this is from JSON and uh, dot JSON dot header dot uh, 
KID, right? So this should get us our JSON value and you might want to have an optional chaining or you know some sort of validation right here. I think, uh, I guess node comes with optional chaining. I'm not really sure if I'm running the correct version. Let's see if I am. No, I'm not. Anyway. So, wow, amazing. Anyway, so um, you might want optional chaining here or, you know, some sort of try catch block, but I'm just going to leave it right now just like this because it looks a bit clean. So once we have the KID with us, we need to get Apple's own signing keys, right? So Apple has a set of its own signing keys, which it uses to validate the payload which you're sending. I know it sounds like a lot of work and it is in fact a lot of work, but that's what you have to do in order to validate the Apple login. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, function here, which is going to be called as get Apple signing keys or key rather because we just need a single key according to the KID. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this function or maybe we can just create a function like this. And what I want is according to the KID, that is the header information. I want to, I want to do, uh, retrieve the Apple signing keys. Now, how do I get that? For this, we use another package known as JSON web tokens, RSA. So JSON web key set RSA, actually not web tokens, but yeah, you know, you get the idea. So, uh, Apple uses RSA encryption for, for the payload signing. So we have to use, uh, make use of this package. It's pretty handy. It actually handles the caching and everything for you out of the box. So that's, that's one thing. So what we want to do is we want to just copy out this code right here and get the client right here. And the JWKS URI for Apple is the following. There we have it. And we basically don't need any other thing at all, right? So that, that is the only thing which is required. The URL part, rest are all optional. So we can just get rid of them. So what we want now is we want to make a request using this client um, and get the signing key. So we're going to get something like this. And because this is callback based, I can just return a new promise from here and I can say this resolve to our signing key. So I'm going to say this is going to be resolve my signing key, right? And if you're interested in seeing what goes on this URL, you can just go ahead and open it. So this is this URL right here. And what we are actually getting is this is, is basically not this thing, but a public key based on all these parameters, right? So you cannot really extract only this and call this public key. There's some sort of mathematics which goes on into calculating the public key for this. But uh, you know, that is all abstracted away with this library for you. So what we are essentially getting is the EXA, whatever this is, string is, basically the public key for um, this RSA encryption using these many parameters for Apple sign-in. So anyway, once we have that in place, once we have the signing key, what should we do next? Or actually, once we have the signing key, we now have to validate if this JSON was actually, um, you know, the correct, the non-tampered version or not. So for this, what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm just going to have a check right here if we do not get an Apple key and that would happen if we have any sort of error and I'm going to say I just resolve with null and I'm going to just, you know, just console dot error out error. And I'm also going to return so that we do not continue the execution if we do not have an Apple key. So I'm just going to say console dot error, something went wrong. And that's basically it, right? If we do have the Apple key, let's just go ahead and actually verify the JWT token. And what I'm going to do is pass in my JSON as well as my newly computed Apple key as well. So once we have that, I'm going to go ahead and create this function right here, 
which is going to accept my JSON payload and the KI, not really the KID, but the public key from Apple. And now it is just as simple as calling JWT.verify over the JSON payload using the public key which I am passed and our error and payload as the callback from node, right? So I want to say that if there is an error again, I just want to console.error the error and, uh, you know, just return or maybe not really return, but what I want is just to have it return a new promise with a resolve like that. And what I want to do is once we have that, I'm going to resolve with a value of null. Otherwise, what I want to do is I want to resolve with my payload, right? So once we have that in place, what I'm going to do is finally say, actually, let's just get the payload back. So I'm going to say uh, sign in with Apple succeeded and I'm going to give it a payload here. And of course, you can just go ahead and check it here as well. Um, just in case it fails, something went wrong and return. All right, so we have done a lot of things here. Let's just go ahead and start it. And I believe we have a little bit of problem. Yep. We do not have imported our package here. Not really JSON web token, JW. Let's see what it was. The, oh, I guess we did not really install it at all. So yeah, make sure to install it as well. So JWKS RSA, there we have it. And let's just wait for it to install. And I'm gonna start it one more time. So server is ready for us. Let's just go back to our simulator on the Apple. Click login with Apple. Click on continue. I'm going to share my email. Write my password right here. Click on continue. And we, we should be able to now see that if I go back on the back end, which is this. So we have a problem with us. That is the JWT must be string. And of course, we do not really want to verify our decoded JSON, but the actual identity token. Right. So, yeah, that's what you want to do. All right. Let's just go back one more time. Click on login, continue, share my email, continue with password. And there we have it. Paste, continue. And now if we take a look at the server for us. We're going to see that we get sign in with Apple succeeded with our um, valid payload, which is actually returned after verifying from the JWT, right? So now what you have to do is just check if payload dot sub is equal to your user. That is what we got from the main um, payload. That means correct user, right? And if payload dot AUD is in fact your package name com dot fast thumbs, that means correct um, authentication against app. So at this point, you can say user is legit and completely valid sign in request was made. So that's that. Right. And in this case, of course, that would happen because, you know, you can obviously see that the sub is same as the user right here. And uh, you can also see that the AUD is in fact com.fastums, which is what the name for this application has been all along. So, yeah, that that's what basically takes it uh, to set up a sign in with Apple login. I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it once it's set up because sign in with Apple is like the smoothest oath login experience your users can ever get if they are using iphone so yeah that's that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one really quick